So we got it. Uh, this is 24 by 18 by 12 medium low exoterra um, with the two doors. And this is going to go right here between the baby fire belly toad and the white tree frog. I'm just going to have to figure out this situation here with the cord going this way. But yeah, so basically, I'm just going to unbox it. So I'm just going to move this on here and then we're going to start um, setting it up. Thanks. All right, so there's a. That's a better view of uh, the background that we're just gonna remove. Um, you can you, you can keep it if you want, but just yeah. for this tank, we're just gonna take it out. This is always hard to do. So yeah, this is the limited edition Outback background. Um, it's just made of styrofoam, which is a uh, pretty cheap quality, and over time, that's definitely gonna yeah. wear out. So it's it's a uh, it's like a. Kind of like a, um, how do I say, dense styrofoam, but overall, like Matt said, it's going to be cheap in the end because over time, uh, weathering of it with uh, various things like water, um, uh, substrate, and, uh, you know, fecal matter, and so yeah, this is just, it's not going to work. Alright guys, so we just got this from Home Depot today. It's um, Jiffy Natural Organic Seed Starter Mix, um, which you... I mean, obviously it's natural and organic, but it's really important because you want to make sure you have soil and dirt that doesn't have any fertilizers and stuff like that in Pesticides. there. Pesticides. Pesticides, stuff like that that's going to be harmful to whatever thing in the tank. Yep. So. That's what it looks like on the inside, and we're just going to coat this uh, entire bottom. And by all means, you don't have to use this. Um, we're trying to make sort of like a... Uh, pre-bioactive setup so in other words I'm gonna let this um, kind of work over time uh, to build up for a bioactive setup. Alright guys so what we also got is um just some just some some bedding just to uh, give uh, the lizards just like an extra layer of uh, yeah. insulation and stuff. Yeah so what this is is forest floor by Zoomed you can get this at your local pet store or um, reptile store um, basically what this is, it uh, keeps humidity well. It's um, just ground up uh, cypress mulch. Um, it's not like you would think of like um, kind of like a normal snake bedding where it's a lot fluffy and lighter. This is a lot um, more hard and denser. So I'm just going to mix this in um, into the top of the, or into the whole dirt area. So you can put, um, I usually put in like half. I think it's pretty good. You gotta make sure you, make sure you have scissors when you open these, because uh, I left them on the other room, in the other room, so I went out pretty slow. Let's see what I can do. Now I got this um, large piece of grape wood, or um, driftwood, uh, and basically this is gonna be the centerpiece of the tank. For aesthetic purposes, this is great, and for a uh, climbing area for the alligator lizard, so. Um, you can orient these. I like these because you can orient them in different ways. Um, so you're not limited to like one thing. Like like let's say a hide you can only do it one way. So this is more. So I think I'm going to put it like this. Um, or maybe that. What do you think, Matt? That looks good. This one? This way. Like that. Like this. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to bury it too much, but I'm going to... Bury it enough so I can get uh, all the sides kind of covered. And uh, we just got this at the store today, but uh, it's it's a good idea to just uh, rinse it off uh, before you just put it in the yeah, tank. It cleans off all the dust from the store, and etc. So now it's time to add plants, and we're gonna add the plants before we add the vines and the moss. So um, plants can go. This really doesn't matter. Uh, like I said, it's more of an aesthetic thing and where your reptile likes it. I'm just gonna put it in the corners of the tanks, I would say. Gotta get this to spray. Yeah. Just suction cup it on there. Yeah, suction cup it on there. You, you might wanna wet it first and then put it on. So we're gonna do that and then we'll get back. All right, as you can see, we uh, put some more plants in here, added a vine, even though alligator lizards aren't super arboreal, they, uh, they do like to Lines. lay on the vine and if you're wondering why there's tape here it's because this thing is pretty old and it broke but don't worry this tape is pet safe i use it all the time um when i have 
problems like this. So yeah, now we're just gonna add the moss sort of on the ground in areas because alligator lizards love to be um, under things. Um, yeah, so this is just uh, terrarium moss. So I'm just going to um, pull it out, all of it, and uh, yeah, place that there. So I'm just gonna kind of break it up in some areas because the moss comes really dried. And I'm gonna let them do the rest of the dirty work because uh, I notice with the pair I have, they like to uh, kind of choose their own ways of where the moss is. So yeah, so add some all over. So now I'm gonna add water bowls and a food bowl uh, right here. All right guys, so as you can see, we just added um, the water bowl on the right and uh, the food bowl on the left. Put a few uh, rocks in there, stuff like that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I added a rock right here. And then I added a fake succulent there that's gonna be removed once this becomes fully bioactive. And as well as these plants here. And so yeah, now we're just gonna get to uh, what goes on top and then we'll get to putting in the lizards. We used a compact top for this. So yeah, so that's just gonna go there. And now for heating. So alligators are kind of a funny lizard. They're not usually, um, like what a normal lizard is. Uh, so they come from California, if you don't know, but uh, they live all over the state. And they actually, you'll, you'll see them under boards. That's where we found uh, the pair that I have. And they don't like um, heat. They're semi um, warm blooded, which means they uh, need to cool off a lot. So that's why if uh, you ever find them, you're probably most likely gonna be near like a water source or a waterway, so creeks. Um, puddles, ponds, etc. They like to be near water sources where they can take a swim and cool off. Um, so yeah, that's why I do not have a heat lamp for, for food. Uh, with these guys, I give them a steady diet of crickets, um, mealworms, superworms. Uh, depending on how big they are, uh, you don't you want to keep it between the size between their eyes. So that. Um, right now, superworms just been uh, added to their diet because they've been getting bigger. But primarily, I give them roaches, crickets, and superworms. Uh, I do give them waxworms sometimes too. Waxworms are more to fatten them up. But um, yes, uh, so yeah, now we're gonna get to putting them. I yeah. just added um, this Y-shaped uh, decor decoration. Um, it's good. The reason why I put it in is because um, they have little claws and they grab onto things like this. So. I thought it'd be good to mix it up with the rock. And All right, guys, so here's my pair of alligator lizards. These are juveniles. I caught them when they were uh, just before um, the stage, I would say, of turning into a juvenile. Uh, I don't know. I haven't sexed them yet. I don't know if they're male or female or both. I don't know. But um, really nice looking, beautiful tails. It's really rare to find these guys to have a full tail. And by the way, if you guys ever decide to take um, them from the wild, just know that uh, they bite. They musk, which means they um, release their fecal matter onto your hands or so, and they love to drop their tails. So be careful with these guys. Um, they are from the wild. Um, and yeah, but they're overall really cool. All right guys, so here's what they look like from the top. They get pretty long. I'd say they get close to a foot, including the tail. So yeah, not too close. But yeah, all right, so now I'm gonna add these in. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but let's see. So I'm going to let him go. Or him or her. See, this one, you can tell they kind of have different tails, but this one with a longer tail is uh, more afraid. So right now she's being cautious, but it looks like she's going to go. There we go. All right. Got both of them in. Got both of them in. Introducing them to their new home. So we'll keep you guys updated how how are they doing in here. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining us on how to help build a alligator lizard tank setup. Yep, yeah, and here's one more shot of it. Forgive me for the reflection, my hand, but um, 
Again, it's a 20 gallon tank, but it's just been shaped into a medium low. As you can see, hopefully, um, you can see her going in on the log. Awesome, guys. Guys, we thank you for your support. Um, we're we're going to start making more videos. Uh, and by the way, this video is kind of a upgraded edition of what started our channel, the first um, alligator setup, lizard setup video. So um, this is the updated version, guys. I appreciate all your support, me and Matt too. We're going to start herping and uh, vlog, uh, filming those. And we're going to have more setups because I have a lot more things to show. So thanks guys for watching. Um, take care and happy holidays.